Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now, uh, this time around, uh, we're going to be uh, starting time, of course, and uh, working in this corner here. Now, uh, I'm planning this time to connect Central City up into Jericho. Uh, and yes, I did play Central City on the side of the map just for the lols. Um, right. So, uh, so the idea uh, is uh, the uh, line coming up through Duckburg here is going to continue up to Bedford Falls at least. And... Uh, and then I'm going to have a, a spur line coming up around through basically roughly where this road goes. And it's going to come into Jericho. So the first thing we need to do is uh, stick a station in here at Central City. Right. Um, so we're going to need one of these here uh, stations. It's going to be high speed uh, with catenary. Uh, um now, do I really want to go? I'm going to go the full long station here as well. Um, right. Uh, and we'll just wang it around. I don't know where to uh, stash it. Hmm. Well, if I take that out, I can... Uh, uh, what can I do here? I can... Stick it right about uh, here. Yeah, that'll work. Whoops. Uh, yep, that'll be Central City. Now, we're obviously going to need to have some uh, local uh, transport options here. So, no, that's going to be road. So, we're going to uh, stick in. Well, we'll stick in one of these here. And a couple more along here, right? Uh, and obviously, we're going to need something along here as well, because this is a fairly uh, spread out uh, town. Um, yeah, about there. Right, okay, so now uh, we need to tramify it. Um, okay, so we'll do do up there, and of course along here. Um, oops. Now we have all the happy little rails in. Um, well, we're gonna need one of these as well. Uh, it seems like it'd be a useful thing to have, so we can actually fling the uh, the trams at things, right? So if we stick it here, uh, we can. Um, well, we can do this. Yep. And we can, uh, of course, uh, go ahead and do this. Yep. Now, uh, we'll definitely be able to fling some trams at this. So let's do that. Now, what have we got here? Um, well, our trusty CRLV. Uh, we're going to put two on each line. Right? So if we do that, uh, we got a new line. Which will go here, here, and here. Right, so that's going to be passenger tram, central city, um, connector. Right, and then we're going to go back in here, grab the other two. Yep, and that's going to be a new line. Yep, and that's going to be central city, crosstown. Right. Okay. So we have that. Now uh, we have the uh, exciting task of getting the rail connection over to here. Now uh, that's probably going to be slightly more challenging than it looks. So the first thing we want to do is get some tracks, of course. Yeah. Now, uh, okay. Well, we can. Oy, yeah. Well, can we? Oh, wow. That's a lot of height difference. Okay. Well, what does it look like if we come from here? 
Wow. What's it look like if we just do this? Do we can we even make the uh, the height transition? What? We can? Wow. Uh, do I want to take that and not bother fiddling with anything else? I think I might. Yeah. Because it works. Yeah. I'm definitely going to take that. Um, although, I am going to back this up one step here. Um, so that we... Oh, we can't go quite that far back, huh? Well, if we come up this far, yeah, we do this, and then we do this. Yeah, okay, yeah, that'll work. Why am I doing that? Because I want to double track it, and I didn't want to put the transition in the tunnel. Because that just looks bad. Um, right, so now... Uh, I guess it would be appropriate to get the uh, to get the rail line all the way through. Um, okay, yeah, that is that's working good. Uh, okay, we can do this right now. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to fling a uh, depot in over here. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, good. And, uh, of course, we're going to fling a signal or two in as well. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, don't need a lot of them. This is not going to be a busy line. Uh, you know, it's a, a leaf node basically on the network, and that's uh, that's basically not going to uh, need a lot of capacity. Uh, and that should do it. Now uh, we can go ahead and uh, fling a train at it. Now, what have we got here? Uh, if we we'll go for an electric. No, we'll go for a multi-unit. Um, the commuter train be uh, appropriate, maybe? I don't know. Um, well, we've got... Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that just for, for laughs. Okay, so we'll buy one. And we'll fling a fling it on a line. So we'll go there and here. Yep, that works. Okay. So that's the Central City to Jericho shuttle, right? Yeah, it is. Good. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to ride the train. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to ride the train and uh, just see how how bad this actually looks i don't think it's near as bad as it, it might but that is an awful long tunnel and we're going to pick up all of zero people here yep now uh we head off to uh, Jericho. Well, the tunnel entrance isn't too bad, so we can live with that for sure. Yep, 
Yeah, um, even that sharp bend at the other end of the tunnel there is, uh, uh, it's a wide enough radius that it shouldn't Im impede the top speed of this particular train, so yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, this is why uh, I prefer generally not making these really long-ass tunnels. That's just because it's boring, right? Should be just about there. Or maybe not. Yeah, there we are. Uh, so here we are. This is, uh, well, this is a little bit nasty. Oh, wow. That's rather roller coastery. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, we shouldn't have anybody here waiting either. I don't think. Okay, uh, we can definitely, uh, it'll take a while for that to start uh, accumulating passengers, I would think. Uh, so uh, now I want to get up to Bedford Falls as well. Um, now to do that, um, I think... Uh, well, first of all, we have to get under the uh, road there, for sure. Right? Like that. Now, uh, we got the same problem with uh, height differential here. Um, can we... Yeah. No, we can't. Too much slope. Too... Oh! If we do that... Oh, we can get up to the uh, top of the uh, pass that way. Okay. Well, let's uh, back that up just a little bit. And then we'll see what we can do about uh, pushing this through here. Uh, yeah, so we can do that. Then, ah, um, yeah, we can do that. Uh, okay. And then, um, yeah, okay. So that gets us up there. And we don't, oh, we have to come down a piece as well, don't we? Yeah, now where are we going from here? Uh, probably on towards Stepford, I would think. Yeah. So, it needs to be angled about over here. Okay. Well, we'll uh, put a uh, station here with two tracks. And we'll angle it about here. Yeah, that'll do. And this will be Bedford Falls. Yep. Now, uh, the trick is to get the uh, track to come down and it will that is good now if we do this how bad is the embankment uh, bad okay well, what happens if we back this up a bit yeah okay now we uh, come out of here uh, which side is that one? Okay, it's that side. We can come now out this side. Uh, we can come up to about here. Yeah, 
And we can... Okay, yeah, I can accept a tunnel there. How bad does that look? Yeah, that's bad. We'll do a tunnel. That can go away. Right, okay. Well, that will definitely give us a reasonable connection, I think. Okay. Well, put the other track in then. Yeah, I think that's probably good, putting the other track in. Okay. Right. Um, good. Well, that's the other track, and we'll need uh, signals here. Yeah, we'll definitely need signals here. Uh, up to here. Here. Uh, I suppose we can stick some here. Um, now, am I going to push that all the way through to Stepford? Um, yeah, I think I probably will. Uh, but... Probably not in this part, because we're going to have to mess around up there. So, do this. Yep. Yeah. And put a signal here. Okay. Um, you know what? It just feels like I should do a little bit more signaling here. Uh, you know, just because. You're just putting signals there because you like looking at them when you drive by them, aren't you? Yeah, probably. Well, I suppose that's as good a reason as any, isn't it? Well, maybe. Uh, okay, so now uh, we're going to need commuters into um, Bedford Falls, right? So uh, we're going to need one of these up here. You're using one of those this time. Yeah, yeah, I'm using one of those. Um, so we'll uh, put this one up like this. Now we're going to need a, a street coming out of that. Uh, we're going to take this out. And then we're going to do this. No. Um, we're going to try doing that again. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then this can come in like that. Yeah. Okay, so that'll do. Now, um, we need to do this stuff. So, uh, we're going to need one here. Probably here. Um, yeah, that'll do. Um, then we're going to need one here. Probably over here. And probably over here. Yeah, yeah, that should do. Okay. Yep. Uh, we're also going to need one of these. Wang that around. Should be able to stick it right about here. Yep. Uh, do this. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, we need to tramify everything. What? Okay. So we've done that. And here, yeah, okay. Well, that'll do for that. Now we're going to, of course, uh, grab our trusty CRLVs, right? So if we do this, yep. Uh, new line, which will go here. Yep. And this is Bedford Falls um, Commuter. Now you just pick those at random, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, right, okay. So now we need a new line for those as well. Going over this way. Right. Bedford Falls Crosstown. Cross tau. Hmm. Yeah, we'll uh, fix that. Cross town. Okay. 
Uh, now what do we need to do? Well, we need to take the uh, train line here. Uh, which, uh, this one, we're going to manage the line and, uh, we're going to go from Jericho to here and back, right. Okay. It goes from Cabot Cove. So that's, I think probably the longest line yeah yeah I'll probably yeah I'll extend the uh, the existing line back to uh, um, Bedford Falls uh, from uh, Stepford yeah I think that's what I'll do for sure right uh, okay so what we want to do is get on one of these Really? Uh, manage vehicles. I think we're going to need another one of these on here. Right? Now, where are you headed? Duckburg. You're headed to... Let's go in the other way. Hmm. Uh, yeah, they're all heading the wrong way. Okay, where are you headed? Where are you? Well, you're going the right way. Okay, close that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to ride a train. And uh, since there's not really enough time to do anything major beyond this point, and I think it's going to require quite a bit of uh, fiddling for the, uh, for the next bit going into uh, Stepford, uh, I'm going to uh, leave the, uh, the episode here, right? Uh, we're, we'll, I'll leave it with this uh, train ride up to um, uh, Bedford Falls, right? And then, uh, and then from uh, from there, we'll I'll be looking at uh, connecting everything into the Stepford uh, complex that's already got a whole bunch of stuff in it. And then, uh, then we'll see what it does to the uh, traffic, uh, some of the traffic in that area. Uh, by connecting it in passenger-wise uh, to these other places with high-speed rail. Uh, I think it will make uh, more of a difference than we expect, but it'll take a while to show up. And that's simply because uh, more people will be able to take longer trips without uh, having to get in their car, right? Uh, they'll be able to take the, uh, the train uh, instead of uh, driving through Stepford, for instance. And uh, I think that'll make a big difference. Uh, and once I connect up the rest of the, the, rest of the map uh, in a, a denser uh, pattern, uh, it uh, probably will make uh, even more difference uh, in the overall uh, uh, traffic. Uh, because that's the problem in that uh, top, top left corner of the map, as I've typically been looking at it, is there's just too much too much uh, travel that isn't covered I think by the uh, by the transportation network and I wasn't able to uh, well, I did some messing about with it uh, quite a while back and I wasn't able to improve it any uh, I think it's partly because there's too many towns too close together and that's obviously going to be a problem but uh, there was uh, there was more to it than that, uh, and that's I think a lot of it is the destinations weren't reachable, right? Uh, and there was so much traffic, I just couldn't do anything with it because it was pure gridlock and nothing could move anywhere. Uh, and because of that, uh, there was no way to fix it because it's it's uh, you know it's basically broken beyond repair. Uh, we don't have the tools in the game to do anything about it, so I couldn't do anything about it. 
but getting more of these uh, rail lines connected up I think that'll make a large difference uh, it might even uh, allow a fair chunk of the uh, system to function a lot better uh, certainly be more profitable uh, I see we've got three people on board here so yeah we're uh, we're moving uh, we're moving trains around anyway and I see the frame rates actually not doing too bad be interested to see what the result is with the new patch coming next year anyway uh, I'm gonna do the sign off now and then uh, sit back and uh, we can watch the rest of this train journey and then I'll then I'll cut the episode there uh, anyway uh, so I guess that's gonna be all for now except for the train ride so stay healthy uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, uh, especially since there is a light at the end of the tunnel. At least it appears so. And I guess uh, see you back next time.